Hey internet people, how are you doing? Hope uh, you uh, guys doing good, everyone doing great. So uh, today I will teach you how you will uh, how you will uh, create a private email. I mean you have a um, business website or you have a blog or some other website but you don't have a private email for your website or for your company. So today I will teach you how you can create a private email and you can connect it to your gmail account so every ma everyone or every uh, potential customer of your business uh, want to connect with you or want to send you a message or send you a message then it will directly come to your uh, gmail account i mean to your gmail address so without further ado let's get started with the video So what you have to do first uh, to create a private email or and you want to add the private email to the to your gmail so what do you have to do first you have to go to your cpanel i'm already in my simple but i'm going to show you how you can do that how you can log into your cpanel so always write your domain name and after your domain name slash cpanel write slash cpanel and then hit the enter button and it will relate it to your login page you have to put their username and password here is the username and you know your password then it will redirect you to the cpanel so i'm already in my cpanel right here so so to create a private email to your hosting account you can click here create an email account and also you can write your email then it will take you a email accounts click here and you'll see something like that such interface so click on create button then create a your chosen email address i mean i'm gonna st i'm gonna create one like this sub mission i'm gonna put this one and i'm gonna generate a password here Oops, uh, i need the password later when i'm gonna add this one to my gmail account and then hit the create button and you're done you're pretty much done with creating a email a private email address so the next step is i'm gonna add it to my gmail account so i'm gonna show you how you can do that right so yeah always come here to your gmail account click on settings see all settings and you will come here and then here is here is the option account and input click on account and input and check email from another account right so i have already one account and i'm going to add another account here so hit add a mail account right and keep it here go to your C panel connect to your private email connect device connect to device click on it right and this information I'm gonna use to my Google account I mean Gmail account this information this information this information right so come here i'm gonna i'm gonna copy this one paste it here i mean i'm gonna create i'm gonna add 
this account I mean this email address to my Gmail account right so face it here this one right next next right so username password power server you do foot so what is your username this is your username this one your email address your username your family I mean private email address your username so this one is your username and then password I generated copy this one paste it here and pop server what is pop server so you need to copy this pop servers outgoing pop server SMTP from here I mean from here incoming server from this one copy this one copy this one paste it here and your your at SMTP server port is 995 so check 995 here and <coughs> come to the options leave a copy retrieve message on your server when you check it all the messages will be saved to your this server but when when you don't have uh, good uh, storage so you don't wanna store all the email uh, email to your server right so if you don't want to do that so uncheck it always use the secure connection SSL when retrieving mail you can actually secure this email this server with the SSL service and then level what is level you can check the level when you check it so your email address will be shown here all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually check it I need to do that so I'm gonna check it and act and archive incoming masses you don't know you you don't need to do that archive incoming masses will archived in your server so you don't have to do that so keep these two in checked and click on add account yes already added then go to next and keep username here so I'm gonna keep this username blue sky cells it's my company blue sky so whenever you send email address to any company or anyone then this name will be shown to their email to their email like like here mm go to gmail I'm gonna show you it yes like this so when you when you set username in here in here it will be shown it will be shown like this right so yes I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as it is here and then go to next and the next step is you need to copy your SMTP server you need to copy your SMTP server yes so this is your SMTP server right paste it here and here is here's few force like default for is five eight seven and when you're gonna secure connection using TLS then you need to actually foot five eight seven but if you want to secure your connection with SSL then you need to you need to foot this one this one four six five I'm gonna show you 
four five six if you want to secure the connection with SSL and if you want to put it as default then I mean with TSL then keep it default right mm, this is not like that I'm gonna copy it from here again and paste it there and use your, your, your username is your email address so copy this email address paste it here and your password is this one I generated so you're pretty much done in here and then click on add button right so you need to actually verify your private email so you have to go your cpanel again I'm in my cpanel again go back go back and go to check email you have a verification email in here often I don't have any email address yet. Let's see. Repress it, repress it, repress it. Uh, yes, it's already here. So go there and your verification email code is this. Copy this. Copy this, copy this, copy this and put it in here verify so yes you're done with adding a private email to your gmail account cool so come here and then i created this email right now and select this email send anywhere you want for that email address that email address I mean 5gmail.com so it's a test email test it set so it's gone and that's a sign so you're done this is how you can create a private email address and connect with your gmail so thanks guys thanks for uh, watching my video and please subscribe my channel and keep keep in touch